Chef Jeff LeVay, good right. to see you. Nice to meet you. to be here, yes. What are we doing today? We're making uh, one of my favorite dishes. Simple dish, it's got garden vegetables, pasta, peppers, all tossed together in a light cream sauce, and it's delicious. Fantastic. Well, let's get started. I'm getting excited yeah. about this one. Starting here with the pasta. Rule of thumb is a quarter cup of salt per gallon of water. All right, nice roaring boil. We're going to simply add our pasta to the water. While the pasta's cooking, we're going to start off here. We got our carrot. Nip off the ends. And the trick here is we want to julienne our vegetables. We want to, about the same size as the penne noodle is going to be itself. So I'm going to just take little pieces here. And the trick of the trade for julienning. The carrots are a little firmer. I'll show you on the yellow squash and zucchini. We're just going to take nice, like, cuts here. I notice when you cut these, Jeff, you have a nice flat surface so you got some stability so the you do. carrots no not wobbling around. around yeah. Nothing. Yep. And then again, you're keeping it flat on this side. And we'll move on to our garden fresh zucchini and squash. Same thing, about the same size. Flat surface to work with. You can hold it upright. It's like a nice color too. You got a little yellow, a little green, a little orange. That's a nice summer, nice summer dish here. It's colorful, it's festive. Healthy. Every, healthy, everything we're looking for in a dish. We also got onion here. Nice little julienne. You're gonna get about the same size shapes as you're gonna get. A Little bit rough chop in there, make it look nice. Yep. And you're gonna get nice strips just like as if you're getting uh, the, the zucchini and the squash and the carrots. So the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let my pan get hot. If you put your butter or your fat in beforehand, you're liable to burn it. This gives a pan a nice hot, and you're gonna hit it right at the temperature you want. So I got a warm pan, about two ounces of uh, olive oil. And like I said before, our carrots are a little bit tougher, so we're gonna start with those. We're gonna add some chopped garlic. Right to the pan with a Jeff. Right to the pan, please. Like you've done that before. All right. Let those carrots cook for a few minutes ahead of time. The squash is real soft and tender, so that's gonna be a little less cooking time. By sautéing it like that, Jeff, we're getting a little bit more of the infused flavor from all the different vegetables, inclusive of the garlic and the oil. It's all coming together right here. The trick to most stock soups, anything that you're doing, sweat the vegetables, it's pulling the flavor right out. Hit it with about two ounces of chicken stock. You little flare up, be careful. I know it looks fun, but people can seriously get hurt that way too. So we got that going. Now we're gonna toss, we're gonna take our roasted red pepper puree and our ranch dressing. Two ounces of roasted red pepper, that's the puree. And again, that's a vegetable too, so we wanna give that a minute to cook in. Let that simmer a little bit, and then we're gonna hit it with the ranch dressing. Equal amounts too, it's just gonna offset it, it's gonna make it a nice pink rosy color here. So at this point, you want to let that just simmer a minute, let all the flavors keep cooking together. Check our pasta, which I believe is just about ready here. Oh, that looks great. And you can tell, you still want the noodle to be yellow. The ends are going to start to turn a little pale, but you still want the noodle to be yellow in color. And we're going to take it right out of the water, you're going to strain it, add it into the dish, and we're going to toss them together. And by taking the pasta right out of the pasta water, not rinsing them, you're allowing the pasta to absorb all the flavors, which now gives you that depth. So we're just about there. Right here at the end, this is the final trick. I got some grated Parmesan cheese here. We're going to add about two ounces of that right into the dish right at this point. All right, enough cooking, let's do some tasting. You can come and get this anytime at, mm. at our banquet hall this summer in a selection. We also have two restaurants, Rizzo's on New Road in Amherst, Rizzo's Restaurant on Agate Road in Tonawanda. Benchetti, Rizzo's. Make sure you check them out. And don't forget, come dine with me.